Hi, my name's Helen and this is my channel, Helen Mary Jo. If you're new here, then welcome. If you're returning, thank you. And if you're a Hell's Bell, hello. Um, this little introduction is to just kind of start this video that I've put together, which is like a few little bits and pieces. Um, so it's, um, <laughs> what would you call it, a melee? melange um a mix up what would be good with them anyway um so it's just a few little bits and bobs that i filmed as i've been kind of going along and um so this is just kind of rounding it all up we are heading into the easter weekend very soon and so i wish you all well um i hope you have a lovely easter break I think Easter is the same in most countries around the world, but I know it isn't in, I think Greece has it different, don't they? But anyway, like, don't worry about telling me because that's what Google's for. <laughs> um, so I just wanted to show you um, a few little bits that I've been doing. I will do a little kind of quick, uh, not tour exactly, but I'll show you the extra little bits of Easter decor that I put up. Um, well, I didn't really do it. The grandchildren did it because they wanted to do it. And I am not precious about that stuff. Um, you know, I think it's important, more important that they make the memories of doing it in my house. And they do like everything to be the same year on year. They're so funny children, aren't they? Um, I'm certainly true with the Christmas decorations. They're like, but this goes there. And, um, you know, they don't want it really changed very much. So um, thank you all for your lovely comments on the Get Ready With Me video. They are quite hard to do, actually, because obviously you're seeing me completely saw makeup, which very few lucky people get to do or got to do before. Um, it's pouring with rain again. We did have some nice weather, but that's evaporated. And I think the weather forecast for the weekend isn't brilliant. But, you know, it's still only March, isn't it? So what do we expect? Um, one thing I, I got today, it just came in today, I had a little delivery from Boots and um, I don't know those of you that are familiar with Clinique and they've got kind of, a, I think you call it iconic um, lip gloss, which is called Black Honey. And I was just about to buy it and then I thought, you know, it was like £26 or something. And um, I just, as I started to write, write, put my teeth in black honey in the um google box to see if i could get it cheaper anywhere actually the dupe came up and it said black honey dupe and this is supposedly a black honey dupe from elf and you know i've always been really impressed with elf so i haven't got it out it's very very dark as you can see but it is just a gloss so i'm going to put that on now Not sure of the smell but it's tolerable oh a bit heavy-handed that looks like a lump of goo on my lip i haven't got a mirror head <laughs> so anyway you get the idea i don't know if that was kind of it's almost got, see that, got that heart in the middle that's kind of maybe a bit jellyfied, but it does the same thing. It's just really a very dark sheer gloss that goes over any colour. And what I had on there already was just the number seven lip pencil that I put on every morning. Um, and I only really add the lipstick or a gloss or anything if I'm going out. Otherwise, it's just so that I don't have makeup with, with no colour on my lip at all um, but equally I don't particularly want to wear lipstick and get that all over my teacups or whatever anyway I just thought I'd show you that um, I will link it down below this one's called a hydrating core lip shine I think it might be the core that looked like I had a jelly baby stuck to my lip anyway that was that um, I'll show you the white jeans that I've shortened in this video. I'll, I'll pop those on so you can see how I use the hemming feature. Um, necklace from Meneer, blouse from Lily Silk. Um, this is um, 
a sleeveless sweater from 100 years ago. Well, probably not 100 years ago. No idea where it's from. Um, still none the wiser looking at the label. Anyway, it's still got a little bit of chill in the air. Oh, and I've got this on because I know you'll spot this on my videos, but I'll talk about it more in the next video. This is um, a watch that I've been sent by a company called Prestar. So um, as I'm trying on denim in my next video, I'm, I am going to be filming these on the same day. Um, but this one will be coming out for the denim. I thought I would do a complete Marks and Spencer denim. Denim, well, apart from a t-shirt, it's all denim. So, um, yeah, I'll, I'll just kind of stitch this together in a manner of speaking. And um, I hope you enjoy it. Oh, before I forget, this is kind of a bit bonkers. But the kids... I said about how that lady had asked me to wish her grandmother happy birthday. And my daughter said, you know, there's an app for that that you can sign up to. So you will see in the bottom of my description boxes, um, it's called Cameo. And um, if you would like me to do a personalised message for somebody that likes the channel or you think it would be funny or whatever, whatever, it can be birthday, anniversary, anything you like. Um, and I will record a dedicated video to them from me and whoever books it. Obviously, it's a paid for thing. Obviously, it's bonkers, but, you know, why not? <laughs> it's all just good fun, isn't it? So, um, yeah, like I say, I'll wrap this up and um, I'll see you really soon. Thanks for watching. Bye. This is a little Easter wooden banner I got from Home Bargains two years ago. I made this on my Cricut a couple of years ago, just for kind of a project really. So I've spoken before about um, shortening jeans and sleeves on occasion. Um, wherever this method applies, it works just fine. So I've got these white jeans that have been sitting upstairs. The weather is finally looking like spring is around the corner. So I want these to be ready for when I do need them. And how I shorten them now, I don't cut them or anything. I just put a tuck in. So I've got the jeans the right, right way round. So I just take my pins and as I say, these are probably not even, I'm going to take that, I don't want them to be too short. I'm just going to take that a bare centimetre. And so you can see, I just get as close to that seam as possible. Um, not the seam, the hem. And I get my machine line in there. Now, this is such a small um, change that I won't actually have to cut any fabric off. I'll just press it and press it up and it'll be just fine. And that way you get to keep the original edge of the jeans. So you don't have to try and match the top stitching or anything. It's not so vital on a white jean because they are white but if it's a blue jean and they they've used or, orange stitching then obviously you want to maintain that orange stitching and you know make them look authentic really you don't want it to be obvious that you've shortened them so that's what I'm doing I'm just taking it's a tuck basically and then when I fold that through They'll just be, I mean, nobody looks at your hem in that detail, do they? But once it's pressed. So another reason I'm doing this today is because I had to mend um, a denim skirt for Grace. And um, so I've got a denim needle in the machine, which is a little bit tougher. When I was doing Grace's skirt, I, I tried to do it with a regular needle and immediately broke the needle. So I've taken the um, flatbed off the sewing machine so that I can fit this around the arm 
of the sewing machine. And I'm just going to run the machine around now in that space. I don't think you need to see that really. It's, it's, it's pretty obvious. I will see if I can film it, but obviously it's not that easy. It's only me. Oh, you'll see I've got to make the bed. You won't believe what happened. I thought I'd cut corners and um, Henry and the family are coming down at the weekend. And um, so I put the sheets and pillowcases on unironed and I thought, well, I'll just iron them in situ. And I started to iron them and loads of brown water spurted out all over the fitted sheet and the pillowcases. <sighs> More haste, less speed. When will I ever learn? So I've had to wash them again. So I'm in a bit of disarray, but they're in the tumble dryer right now. So I'm sure they'll be ready shortly. OK, so um, I've just had to change the bobbin because the bobbin wasn't plain ball. And I've actually done it in a in a kind of a beige colour because it won't ever show. So it doesn't matter. And I'll be able to show you quite easily. So I'm keeping that needle as close into this edge as I can. It's honestly so easy and gives such a good finish that I wish I just started this years ago. I'm going over the thick fabric, hopefully it'll cope. Yes. I usually do and I will do it now is I press this button on here which means that the presser for the needle always finishes in the fabric and that way it can't slip when you're taking the pins out or adjusting anything. This one's even thicker. You got your fingers crossed I'll sort of help it through. Yep, I'm brilliant. And that's it. Back to the beginning. Lift the foot up. So I've got the TV on in the other room. I mean, that does look a bit awful, but honestly, it's only me that's ever going to see this. So you can see I've just run the machine round there. And then when I press that out, you've just got that on the bottom. And I know it does look kind of, you know, you can see it because I'm showing you. But if you imagine that at the bottom of the trousers, nobody's going to really look twice. And um, it's just the most convenient way of shortening a pair of jeans or sleeves or anything that you know is 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 a bit difficult so um i'm just going to kind of relocate the camera i just quickly wanted to share a couple of tips that um mum and i were saying the other day that that really work um if you sew um i mean honestly as i'm getting older it's get, and i've got lenses in but it's getting harder and harder to thread that needle on the machine but two little tips if you put some uh, saliva on the back of the needle it kind of sucks the um, thread in so it does honestly make a difference but equally I just have a card uh, something white just behind the um, eye of the needle and that helps too so I'll quickly do this other one um, I will press them and then I will show you the finished article. I mean, if you need convincing, it's fine because I've done it before so I know it works for me. As I say, my motto is good enough. So um, I'll just crack on and do that now. White jeans. So I've just quickly popped on this um, shirt from two with the white jeans that I shortened using the tuck message message method. Um, I know Rob's going to walk in the door any second. So um, I'll just show you um, what they look like. And, you know, it's it it just works. I mean, you know, if somebody maybe was sitting next to you and staring at the hem of your trousers, they might think, oh, I've actually done that. But, you know. Generally speaking, no one's going to do that, are they? So 
Um, yeah, I'll just have a patch. So these were white jeans I got in the Marks and Spencer sale and I've just put the tuck around just above the, the hem and um, it works just fine and dandy. I mean, from up here, I can't even see it properly. So um, I'm pretty sure no one else would be worried. So I just wanted to show you that as, um, as the kind of final part of that hemming story. Most boring story ever. <laughs> um, yeah. Hi, as I said in the sewing video, I just kind of wanted to show you a few bits and pieces and um, so I'm just going to kind of stitch this video together so it will be a bit of a hodgepodge, but um, I hope you enjoy it anyway. So um, the first thing, those of you who haven't got Instagram won't have seen what I did with the tray. So I managed to, to cricket the tray. I decided not to paint it actually because I just thought with the white on there, I thought it looked quite nice. And I also got hold of a little flowering plant to put in the bunny. And I think that looks quite cute actually, because it looks kind of like, I mean, ridiculous really, but it looks like its head and then the ears coming up. And then Grace um, bought me these bowls, which are so cute. And I had looked at them in the shop window. So um, I was chuffed, she got them for me for Mother's Day. So I got two of those and three of those, which are very Easter-y, but not so Easter-y that you couldn't just use them in just springtime, I suppose. And so I've got um, some little mini eggs on that tray, along with the mugs that I bought last time. So I just wanted to show you that update. And then I got this. Um, sometimes, you know, you see something, and I'm terrible because if I see something, I've just got to have it. And I just thought this was so cute. And it's this little vase. So it's like a little handbag, shopping bag. And the idea is that you just put your flowers in there as, as you would if you were carrying flowers in a shopping bag. So I've just got some lovely yellow tulips in there. And they, the, I, think, I, I love it. I absolutely love it. It's mad, isn't it? Some things just, just kind of capture me and then I just have to have it. I don't know what, what that's from, it's terrible really. But um, I will link it. I'm hoping I can find it online. Um, uh, mine was a bit expensive, so I'm hoping I can find that a better value for you. So I'll have a good old search around. But yeah, isn't it cute? I, I, I just love it. And you know, it's not too bad empty. I mean, you could just fill it with sweets or something if you wanted to. Um, so I've got that on the kitchen island at the moment. And I've just been to Costco. So... Um, I, I'm just going to move the camera along and I'll just quickly run through what I bought at Costco. Everyone seems to enjoy those videos, so um, I watch them too. I don't know what it's about, it's just human nature, I suppose. So I'm just going to move the camera and then I will just quickly run through what I've bought and what I'm doing with what I've bought. So I've got a house full this weekend and, um, you know, you do have to kind of plan what you're doing, don't you, when you've got, how many have I got for dinner tonight? Five, uh, five and four. So I've got nine for dinner this evening and um, I'm going to do, do you remember I did that fake away lamb kebab? Um, I'm going to do that this evening with these, which the children, of, whoops, break it off. These are from Costco. They, these are great. These are breaded chicken fillets. I mean, I have made them before myself, but um, actually these were quite good value. I think they're about 13 pounds and there's there's a lot in there. I don't know how many in number. Oh, 11, there's 11 fillets in there. So that's pretty good. Um, and then I got, for tomorrow night, I'm going to do a chicken curry. And this was 11 pounds. And there is 2.2 kilos in there. So I'm gonna do a, a fairly mild chicken curry because the children do like it. And then the grown ups can put some jalapenos on if they want it hotter. I got some of their chicken, not chicken, vegetable samosas that are very, very good to go with the curry. I've already got some chapatis in the freezer, so I need to get those out. They had such a good offer on Lurpak. It's on offer. 
I think it was for four weeks actually. And um, it worked out. I mean, I don't know about in other countries, but the price of butter in this country has gone through the roof. And I think the three, they should have been 385, but they were on offer. And um, it brought them down to about three pound 20, I think. So it worked out at about 160 for half pound of butter, which is very good. So I bought six of those, um, crazy, but that's it. Got this big old slab of cheese. I actually ran out of cheese the other day. I don't think that's ever happened before. Um, and that was £6.72 for an extra mature cheddar cheese. And um, there's just under a kilo in there. I got some stalk to make some cakes. Um, can't remember what that was, but it's cheap from Tesco's. And I got these, I've never bought these before, but these are chic kebabs. And um, they, they look good. It's a good brand, that Royal. And there's seven in here and they sell by the 30th of March. You just heat them up in the oven. So I thought we can have those for a quick lunch tomorrow. We're going to the theatre tomorrow, so um, for the children. So um, I thought that would be good. These are delicious. If you haven't tried these, I can highly recommend. We had them last week. They're, they're bigger than they look on the packet. They're about this big. And they've got cheese in and they've got a definite chilli um, flavour to them, but not kind of stupidly hot. You know, we all, we all let them. Um, I did have a little um, cream cheese and sweet chilli dip to go with those, but they were yummy. I got some chorizo because that's actually cheaper than Tesco's chorizo because it was three, four, well, you just have to take my word for it. In Tesco's, I think they're £2.50 um, or £3, depending. And these were £6 for two, so these are much bigger and um, better. I got some scones just because I was feeling lazy. And there are 12 scones in here for £5.50 and they are delicious. I got two packets of bagels for breakfast on Sunday. I bought in the farm shop, I bought some uh, breakfast burgers they're called. So they're, they're like basically a pork and oats, I think it's oats, um, flavoured burger. And I thought that would be rather nice in a bagel. I got the Caesar salad, Dolly, stop. Caesar salad, which I think is about £4.50. That's to go tonight with the um, chicken and the, the um, tortilla. Stop it, Dolly. Um, I don't know how much these were. Yeah, 2 89 for three. Um, and they're, they're big. They've got a really long sell-by date, so the kids love those. They don't really eat bread, the children got the older ones. I got some tortilla chips to have with a bit of a dip before supper. I got um, this Dolly, got this big thing of feta, which is lovely with beetroot. So I'll do a little beetroot and feta salad. I got these lovely sweet onions, which are so, so nice. And I will do at least one, if not two of those, um, I'll pickle those to have tonight with the kind of the heater meal that we're having. I got a bag, you'll be glad to see some healthy stuff, a bag of oranges, satsumas, a bag of gala apples, some stemmed broccoli, a bag of peppers. The children love raw peppers as well, so that's always a good one. And then Rob likes Listerine, and this was on offer. Dolly, stop. I don't know why I bother saying that, because it, she won't stop. That was £6 plus VAT for those two great big bottles, uh, two one-litre bottles. I think one of those in Tesco's is £6, so that's a really good buy. So I just thought I'd wish you through my shopping. Oh, I got blueberries. They come right down in price. They were so expensive. But I think they've come down to 3 99 now. <laughs> and they, they stay fresh for ages. There's no one there. I think it's just somebody over the road. Anyway, 
I just thought I'd quickly run you through that and um, like I say, this is going to be, I don't know what you'd call it really, a miscellaneous video of um, bits and bobs. So um, I'll try, what I'll do is I'll try and put a timeline in the description box. So if you want to skip to a bit that you're interested in or just skip to the end, it's totally up to you. So um, yeah, as ever, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.